for today's lesson, we will be discussing about tangents, the tangent line theorem, and its converse. But first, let's try to define tangent to a circle. A line in a plane of the circle that intersects the circle at exactly one point is called tangent line. The point of intersection is called the point of tangency. So in circle A, we have here, as you can see, we have line CB, and it intersects with the circle A at a certain point, which is a point B. Therefore, since it touches the circle once, line CB is tangent line. Okay, so this is referred as the tangent line. Now, the point of intersection, which is a point B, this is referred as the point of tangency. First, we have Theorem 101, which is the tangent line theorem. If a line is tangent to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. So if we have a line that is tangent to a given circle, then the radius drawn to the point of tangency is perpendicular to it. Let's say you have here circle S, wherein line BE is tangent to circle S at point B. Now, if we will draw the radius, so this is the radius, okay, which is segment SP. Okay, so, from theorem 101, so segment SP is perpendicular to the tangent. Okay, so if it's perpendicular, that means they will form a right angle. Let's try to answer a question about the theorem 101. So, line PA is tangent to circle C at point P. If segment CP is 5 cm and segment PA is 12 cm, how far is point A from center C? So, what we're looking for here is the distance from point A from center C. So if we will connect them, so we will have this line or line segment CA. So this is the one that is missing, the line segment CA. We don't know. Okay? This refers to the distance from point A up to C. Now let's write here the given. We have CP, which is 5cm. And we have PA segment PA, which is 12cm. Now as what we know, so a if we want to apply theorem 101 or the tangent line theorem, we can say that segment CP is perpendicular to the tangent, which is segment PA. So if they are perpendicular, that means they will form a right angle. So as you can see here in the figure, we were able to form a triangle. And there is a right angle here. So that means... A triangle CPA is a right triangle. Now, how are we going to find this part or segment CA? Since this is already a right triangle, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so that we can find the missing part, which is actually the hypotenuse of the given triangle. So, by the Pythagorean theorem, we can write a formula. CA squared is equal to the legs CP squared plus PA squared. So, you just have to substitute the values. CA squared equals, so CP is 5. So, 5 squared plus PA, which is 12 squared then simplify so you have 25 plus 144 if 
you add, you will have 169. Then, to find CA, all you have to do is get the square root of both sides. So, therefore, CA is equal to 13 cm. So, the distance from point A to the center is 13 centimeter. Next is we have theorem 102, which is just the converse of the tangent line theorem. So in a plane, if a line is perpendicular to a radius of a circle at the end point on the circle, then the line is a tangent to the circle. So this time it's the opposite. It's the converse. So what will be stated here first is that the line is perpendicular to the radius. Okay, And from that, since they are perpendicular, you can uh, say that the line is tangent to the given circle. So from, for you to use theorem 102, you should prove first or you should state first that a line is perpendicular to the radius, okay? So that you can conclude that it is a tangent to the given circle. So let's try this one. So let's try this one. In the figure, ES is equal to 7, EP is equal to 24, and PS is equal to 25. Show that line PS is tangent to circle E. Now, since what we want is to prove that line PS is tangent to circle E, what we want to show here is that ES, segment ES, is perpendicular to segment PS so that we can use theorem 102 or the converse okay the converse of the tangent line theorem so we have to show first that segment ES is perpendicular to segment PS now to do this what we will do is we will apply the Pythagorean theorem and see if both sides will be equal so you have EP squared equals ES squared plus PS squared. So let's substitute the values. 25 squared equals 7 squared plus 24 squared. Then you have 625 equals 49 plus 576 then 625 equals, then you add 49 and 576, so you have 625. Now, since we apply the Pythagorean theorem and we're able to see that both sides are equal, so we can say that this is already a right triangle. So since EP squared equals ES squared plus PS squared. So since this is true, we're able to justify this then by converse of Pythagorean theorem. We can say that triangle ESP is a right triangle okay since we're able to see that both sides are equal then that means the triangle is a right triangle then from that since this is already a right triangle so that means there is a 90 degree angle and if there is a 90 degree angle there should be perpendicular segments so from that we can now say that segment ES is perpendicular to segment PS. So we're now able to reach our goal which is to prove that the segments are perpendicular. Now, last thing that we need to do is to state that line PS is now tangent 
to circle E. Now, this is because of theorem 102 or the converse of the tangent line theorem. Since we're able to prove that segment or the radius is perpendicular to a line, therefore, that line is tangent to the given circle. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about tangents, tangent knife theorem and its converse. And see you next time.